Hi, I'm still working on the Connect, still working here with my OSX. But I just uh, noticed on the Open Connect forum that they have created a Python bindings. Now, I've been trying to get Libfree Connect working on the OSX, but there's some LibUSB issues and it won't compile. So, it will compiles pretty easily on my Linux box, which is working with my little Linux uh, laptop. But it's not really powerful enough to do the 3D stuff and I tried to get the Python, Python bindings that were working with OpenCV to work couldn't get them working so I used the math plot stuff and that worked okay but it's at a very low frame rate about two frames a second what it is I stripped out the data the math plot data and what I've done then is cr used web.py to create a web server plugging into that data. So it's running on this point, this uh, server here. So if I refresh that, what it's doing is actually iterating around the uh, data array every five um, pixels. So it goes 0, 4, 9, etc. And it does every second, every row, every fifth row as well. And then that data. Um, you can see that's my head, my shadow there. Now that isn't so interesting. However, if I added in this threshold concept, so if I put in a threshold of a thousand, or say even uh, nine hundred, wait there, I'm um, even even eight hundred, then I get pretty good data. So that's my face as I move around. Now the connect is sitting on top of the OS X um, iMac. So my Linux box is here. So basically, this is a network-enabled uh, 3G engine. So I've put up my hands like this and scroll around. Now what I've done basically is every if the diff, if there's a uh, pixel value coming in that is can I check the code if it's uh, less than the threshold. I show a um, little hash mark here. Maybe anything, but I use Python, so I thought a hash might be suitable. You can actually see there's actually quite a lot of quite good data there. I can actually, if I move out, you can actually see my whole hand backing off into the distance. Now the scale is off here because the hash is a little bit narrower than the height between two rows, but. Um, the nano nano or Vulcan, whatever it is. And this is going to be pretty handy because what I want to do is basically avoid the 3G depth mapping stuff altogether and the, the actual display rendered by the cameras and actually work on um, doing interactive displays. And basically, um, this is perfect because I've got a reasonably um, easy interface to work with. I can change the threshold, but now I can actually start um, interfacing. With this using Python. And actually, it only took um, maybe 20, 30 lines of code. I'm using web.py, which is a great little library for just adding in very, very quick and simple uh, um, HTTP protocols or APIs into, um, into Python programs. So, well done to the Libfree Connect guys, and hopefully, I'll be able to do something uh, a bit more interesting.